Hello everyone, I'm Brittany from the Therapy Note Success Team. Today, we'll be going over how to use the Therapy Notes secure messaging feature to connect directly with your clients. With Therapy Notes high trust certification, secure messaging is a safe and streamlined way to communicate with your clients in between sessions. Before starting this tutorial, please ensure that you've set up the basics of your Therapy Notes account. If you still need to complete these steps, you can visit the Therapy Notes Help Center for more videos and articles, or contact our support team by phone or email for one-on-one -on -one support, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. To begin, a practice administrator will first need to enable secure messaging for your practice. This can be done by going to the Settings tab, scrolling down to the Portal and Scheduling section, and clicking the Secure Messaging option. Then, click the Enable Secure Messaging button. Once secure messaging has been enabled for your practice, you'll then be able to customize several components of the secure messaging feature. Up first are the message topics. Message topics help you quickly understand the contents of a message and allow you to route them accordingly throughout your practice. Hovering over the blue question mark tooltip next to each section title will explain who has access to view each message type in the shared inbox. Here, you'll be able to adjust the message topics listed as well as add or remove any topics by using the plus or X icons. Please note that messages tied to a removed topic cannot be fully deleted. Any messages associated with a removed topic can be found by clicking Show Disabled Topics, located at the top right portion of the page. From here, you can also re-enable a topic if you need to do so. In addition to message topics, clinicians can now also customize their portal message banner. This message will be displayed at the top of the client's inbox on the therapy portal. Message archive settings are located in this section as well. Here, clinicians will be able to adjust the number of days a message thread can be responded to before being auto-archived from the dropdown. Once you have made any necessary updates to the secure messaging settings, click the green Save Secure Messaging Settings button at the bottom of the page. With secure messaging enabled for your practice, you'll now notice a new icon located in the toolbar next to the user icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Clicking this icon is how you will access your secure messaging inbox and, if applicable, the number of unread messages will be displayed here as well. Patient message notification settings are located within each staff member's notifications tab. Users can select whether they'd like to receive an email when a new patient message is received by clicking the corresponding box. Patients will also receive an email notification indicating a new message was received as long as they have an email address on file. Once any changes are made in the notification section, click Save Changes. The secure message inbox is set up much like a standard email inbox. This inbox is shared, and clinicians will see any messages from their assigned patients here. The search box in the upper left side of the screen allows you to filter by all patients, my patients, individual patient name, and my supervisee's patients, if you hold the supervisor role. The three drop-down boxes for audience type, topic, as well as read and unread messages are located in this section as well. Patients can be searched for by either name or patient ID, and messages can be filtered by clinical, billing, and administrative. When you're ready to create a new secure message, click the blue New button in the upper right corner of the screen. A new message pop-up will appear, allowing you to either type or select the patient you wish to message from the drop-down menu. Patients that the clinician are assigned to first will display at the top, followed by patients not assigned to the clinician. Once you've selected the appropriate patient from the list, you'll select the audience. Setting the audience to administrative will allow schedulers and clinicians to see the message. These messages are often regarding appointments and scheduling. Billing is for any messages regarding billing, invoicing, payments, or insurance, and can be seen by billers as well as clinicians. Clinical messages are between clinicians and the patient only. The conversation is private and is not viewable by anyone outside of the patient and assigned clinician. Patient-specific inboxes can be accessed either from the patient's tab or by clicking on the name of a patient at the top of a message thread to access that particular patient's inbox. You'll then select the appropriate topic for the message from the drop-down menu. 
Selecting the topic will also fill in the subject line. However, this is customizable and can be adjusted if needed. Once you've filled in the necessary information, you can then move on to drafting your message. Rich text editor tools allow you to bold, underline, indent, and use numbered lists in a message to a client, much like a standard email inbox. Once you've completed your message, click Send Message. Messages sent in error can be deleted as long as the message has not been seen by a patient. To do this, locate the message thread by filtering by patient name. Hovering over the message you would like to delete will give you the option to mark unread or delete. Alternatively, you can delete the entire chat history by clicking delete in the lower right corner of the message. Please note that if the patient has seen the message, the message can only be deleted by clinical admins or practice admins. Deleted messages can be recovered by practice or clinical admins by selecting Deleted in the Message Filter dropdown. Then, selecting the thread you wish to recover and clicking Restore Thread. Please note that deleted messages can only be recovered within 30 days before being permanently deleted. While in the inbox, you'll notice you can see what other practice users are viewing by a small marker to the right of the message. Currently, messages can be exported one conversation at a time by clicking into the thread you wish to download and clicking the Export button, located in the lower right corner of the message. Message threads will export as a PDF file. Additionally, the Edit option in the upper right corner of the page allows practice users to update the audience of a message. So, if a message an admin or scheduler receives should be transferred to the clinician, editing the audience will remove the message from their inbox and forward to the clinician's inbox. Now that we've gone over secure messaging from the perspective of the clinician, let's see what that looks like for patients. Once secure messaging is enabled for your practice, clients will see a message summary on their therapy portal homepage or can navigate to their messages inbox to view or create a message. Secure messaging from the client's end is similar to the practice view. However, clients do not have the ability to archive or delete messages. Since the secure message inbox on the client's end is not shared, messages that have been viewed are automatically marked as read. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more from Therapy Notes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks for watching.